Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7B electric circuits practice problem. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we are going to be working with. It's just a circuit with five resistors. And the two questions that we have to answer are uh, which resistor has the largest current running through it and also each resistor has a resistance of 5 ohms calculate the equivalent resistance so as you can see I have um, a drawing of a circuit over here these are the 5 resistors and the uh, first thing that we have to do is figure out uh, which resistor has the largest current so obviously the first thing that we have to do is figure out how many currents do we have over here in our system and then uh, figure out if there's a way in which we can you know, rank them or at least figure out which one has the highest current because that's really all we care about. So um, I always start with the total current which is the current that crosses the battery. So you're gonna have a total amount of current crossing the battery and then you have several junctions over here and whenever you have a junction well these two are junctions this one is not I'm sorry uh, whenever you have a junction which again by definition is just uh, two or more wires connected together uh, which is why this is not a junction because this is not two or more wires this is the same wire it just like loops um, Whenever we have a junction, our current is gonna split up. Uh, so we have one incoming current over here and this is basically gonna split up in two. So this is gonna split up downwards over here. But also some of this current is gonna go, is gonna follow this path over here. And now this blue is going to be the incoming current on this junction over here and it's again once again it's going to split so this blue you know is not gonna hit anything but it's gonna uh, further be split into one current that's gonna follow this path R3 and R4 and also another current that's just gonna go down here like this so this um, orange current is gonna loop like this this pink current is gonna loop like this now once both of them reach this junction they are gonna recombine into blue and blue is gonna get out of here and once blue and red recombine they are gonna recombine into our turtle current and that's basically um, you know the currents that we have so we have basically a total current I'm just gonna use colors instead of naming them so we have a total current that's basically split up into a um, red where is my red oh here we go into red plus blue and then also blue is split up into orange um, plus pink. So now clearly we have a final answer just from knowing how the current split because uh, this basically means that the total current, the total current is equal to your red and then blue is equal to this two. So this is plus orange plus pink. So regardless of the values of these currents, this is the total current, so this is the highest current and this current is only hitting one resistor. So our final answer is that regardless of the values of the currents and regardless of the values of the resistors, R5 is the one that has the highest current. and that current is the total current on your electric circuit, final answer. Um, and this is basically, you know, a good enough explanation. We're using our continuity equation every time we hit a junction. And just by using that, we know that uh, there is no current that's, going, that's higher or greater than the total current. Um, therefore, there we go. So now um, our second question is, 
each resistor has a resistance of 5 ohms, calculate the equivalent resistance. Okay, so the second part of the problem is each resistor has a resistance of 5 ohms, calculate the equivalent resistance. So basically, now every single resistance is equal to 5. And now we need to find the equivalent resistance of all of this put together. So we basically need to do a step-by-step -step in which we reduce the circuit, um, you know, element by element. So, you know, obviously there is more than one way to go. And again, if you have a certain amount of experience, you can even skip some steps. But, you know, this is a tutorial, so I'm just going to do it one by one. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two guys together because I know that they are in series. They have the exact same current, so by definition they are in series. Let's remember that. Uh, if they have the same current, then by definition they are in series. If they have the same voltage drop, then by definition they are in parallel. So let's just go ahead and reduce this um, chunk. So these are all fives since I haven't done anything to them, I haven't changed them. But now I'm going to have this uh, resistor which is the series of these two. Now uh, let's just remember that our equation for R in series is just adding them up. So if these are two fives then this is a ten. Now moving on from this point, uh, we have three resistors that are in parallel with each other. They are in parallel because they begin and they end in the same junction. Also they have the same uh, voltage drop across uh, each of these resistors. So um, I'm going to go ahead and these three guys over here, I'm going to put them together in parallel. So this is still 5, and then this is the parallel. Um, so R in parallel, well 1 over R in parallel is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in this case, um, R in parallel is 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10, and then take the inverse of that. So let's just go ahead and put that on a calculator. Um, so 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 and then 1 divided by answer. Where is it? Um, so 1.11. No, this can't be tried. I didn't do it right. Um, 1. Okay, so one fifth. Let's just do it in one step. One fifth plus one fifth plus one over ten close to the negative one. Two. There we go. Two ohms. And now these two are in series with each other, which means that basically we just add them up. So our reduced circuit is just uh, 5 plus 2, 7 ohms. So our final answer is um, that our equivalent is equal to 7 ohms. Final answer. Um, so this is the end of this problem. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.